The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. I'm Amber Bell and this is Real Agriculture doing today's Canola School. So I am standing here with Justin Naninga. He is a director on the Board of Alberta Canola and also on the Canola Council of Canada. And we're going to be talking today about heat stress and flower blast in canola. So welcome Justin, it's fantastic to have you. Good to see you Amber. Okay, so we're talking about heat blast. Now, can you just tell me a little bit about that? Why would we be looking for that in our fields? So we're, the reason we're looking at it is in the first two weeks of flowering is the most critical time for, for heat blast. If we get too much hot temperatures, over 27 degrees, that's when the most of the damage is going to occur, is on that first two weeks of flowering on the main stem. Okay, and what are we looking for? What would be some signs and symptoms as we go in the field? Just flowers starting to come off, abortions off the main stem where there should be a pod starting to form, but it's aborted, it's just a stump. So at what stage of the plant growth is this the most critical and kind of what weather conditions are we looking for um, to keep an eye out for it? So, um, yeah, the first two weeks of flowering is, is the most critical, Amber. Um, in that time, if we get temperatures over 27 degrees over or daytime temperatures, that's when we start to see some of that damage. What can mitigate some of that is if we get that cool evening temperatures, that lower than 15 or around 15, that can really help reduce the amount of damage that we, we see. And typically we can see 10 to 20% yield reduction if, if we get too high of temperatures and, and lose some of that pod set. And we're kind of getting close to that now. What stage of the plant does it stop being as much a risk? Once the, the pods are formed, um, it definitely reduces the, the chance of, of, of that happening because the pods are already formed. But saying that, with, with the pods being formed, they, the seeds are just little water blisters basically in a pod and they can be gone also, like they can fry. Boils that boil water. Boil out. Yeah. So right now I'm under the understanding there's not really a whole lot that can be done about it once you're at the point outside of managing your expectations for yield, right? No, there's been different trials of different products, but there's been no real, nothing that helps. We were just, um, just bear it and, and hopefully it cools down soon. And what about seeding timing? So, I mean, obviously it's a little bit late this year, but for next year, would seeding early be the way to go? Seeding a bit later? You know, what are your thoughts on that? Typically, that's usually our, our, our plan is to seed as early as we can, try to beat the, the July heat that we know is coming. But uh, the last few years, it doesn't really seem to matter. We've, or the heat has been coming at different times and we've been hit either way. So um, I would say that seeding early is still the best. So Justin, is there any ongoing research that you know of that's kind of going into helping growers manage this? I mean, seasons have been getting hotter, right? That's what we've been looking at, so. There's not been any real specific what does better with heat stress. Um, there is a little bit of work going on in the brown soil zone. Um, some work there. Uh, also, locally here with uh, Gateway Research Organization, some of our plots, um, we've seen some where some varieties did better than others, but we haven't done spent any time to specifically go over some of those. Gene editing, I think, will really open some doors um, to to reducing the amount of impact that we see on some of these problems. So um, that'll be interesting, but I think those are a few years away. Right. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens as we go forward. And do you have any words of encouragement for producers in this flowering season? Go on holidays while it's hot. <laughs> There's there nothing we can do. <laughs> I like it. Uh, might be a really good time to go on holidays. Yes. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. And that was Justin Naninga on Real Agriculture. <laughs>